the normal livery doesn't have this. Is that the only thing that it adds? Yeah, is the uh, the seal. I mean, yeah. I mean, if it looks good, then go for it. Yeah, I think it looks nice. I don't like the base, I'll be honest. You know, it's not like... You want to see the silver? Sure. Law the silver does look very good. And this is for general patrol or just ops? Uh, just operations. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. That, that way it's kind of well, this, this is the concept for SDSO Ew Get in So instead of it being like full white for SDSO We use like white and uh, brown And then HSQ yeah, like get the full white back Yeah yeah, I'm not. A, yeah, I think the honestly the base looks. Oh wait, hold on. What would you use on this though? This is department. You could use all of them. You could use all of them. Um. I think. I'm pretty sure like VPD was going to do this, but it's, I mean, it's not a bad idea if you want to change it up for LSPD or because like. No, I don't like it. You, you mm -hmm. don't like the silver at all. No, I think, I think no, I, I think the, the, use this. the base black, system suits the department a lot more. Yeah, black and beige. I don't think the whole beige, but like the black and the beige looks really yeah, nice. Like the, the one tone beige, you, we can go change this. Uh, Yeah, man, just you excited for five days' time? Do you do torment the server? I love the server. Explore, but I really do like the black and beige. Yeah, I like the black and beige too, yeah. I prefer two tone over one tone because two tone looks more like a cop car. For example, I when I'm in at one and I see the PBSO Taurus, I don't know if it's a criminal car or not. The Broken. other thing is the light bar and then the yellow number on the roof. And then there's also the fact that the silver is used by DOC. Oh, then yeah. I think, yeah, go for the base. And the the, the ghost livery, yeah. And then if it's just for ops, then there's no problem, really. Yeah, because it'd be as like standard patrol, everybody use their own thing. And then when we're doing like a H2 operation where we're pulling units off and, you know, we're doing the plan, that's when we're going to be doing this. Just like you wouldn't see as we're the best normal patrol. Yeah. Okay, nice. Who's that? Is that Jimbo? Jimbo! Hello. Why have you got a hunting a rifle? Ooh. What do you mean? Nice. To shoot criminals in the head. That's not PD issued. Yeah, I know. Trying to make the rifle unit. Yep. I really want to do that. I want to start the sniper unit. I'm pretty sure Angel made us a piece for her. Yeah, well. Okay, I don't have any bullets in this gun. Just Why have you got bullets. it? Oh. Then what's the point in carrying it? For people to start to know. Start to know what? That you're breaking start, SOP? Start to know that I'm in the sniper unit. Did you, were you there when the post-op shooters happened after like the UPD restructure? I don't think so. There was a but. You, so, you know post-op, the base of Spanish yeah. and the docks? Because Dodo came in and like pushed them out. There was a bunch of unemployed, like, postmen, and they grabbed a oh. bunch of these hunting rifles, and they, like, one went on the brown garage and started indiscriminately shooting into the MRPD parking lot. And oh, my God. there was one God. in the brown garage shooting at the apartments, and then there was one shooting at MRPD from, uh, like, <laughs> Little Moscow when we were in a meeting, and, like, we, we had shot and killed all three. They died on impact, and they all had notes, and they all had... Hold on. Uh, name... Let me... Wait, it sounds so cool. <laughs> I've got this in my in my car here. Let's take a look. It's here somewhere. Here's the idea of one of the shooters that I killed. God. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh wow, he was old, huh? They all had gun themed names and they were all really old postmen with sniper rifles. And every single time we shot them down, they'd die. They just explode. That guy we shot them too good. That guy was 119 <laughs> years old? Yeah. So explains why they died. Yeah. I was in the MRPD <laughs> meeting yeah. like, the fools. red garage shooter, the brown garage shooter, like how we were on the rooftop of an MRPD and then we shot them from the brown. It was, it was crazy. And then suddenly we yeah. started hearing audible shots and I was like, everybody to the rooftop. 78s, 30, and all 30 of us ran <laughs> from the meeting room to the rooftop and every single person just peeked that guy and we all just hailed him with gunfire. Hell the yeah. guy died. Jesus. And that was the last one. And I was going to say during the announcement is try and do a less lethal takedown because we need to interrogate and find like who that ringleader is. But they all died. But we never found like, the ringleader. Like five of them. Yeah. We might have killed him, but it was kind of like a cold case. Yeah. What's your opinion on the post office, Jimbo? Uh, I think it's a really valuable thing. Specifically on for... Dodo overtaking and pushing it out. Ooh, see, that I had a different take. I think that the post office is a really valuable thing for low-income and rural neighborhoods to be able to send post and receive post at a, not an exorbitant amount of price. Mm. Doesn't sound very terrorist to me. I think you're in the clear. <clears throat> you think I was a terrorist? I thought you might be like the grandson of one of the shooters, and they starting oh up your. Oh my god, own. no! Oh, yeah, there's someone at there's someone at the gate. Hey, uh, I'll go check that. Trouble look at double look at your email. I sent you something it's funny. Are you excited? Yes, I'm so excited, Evie. Hello. I'm pumped. Uh, I'm doing so many mines uh, and crafting. I want to talk about thing. Yeah, please, my car. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. What do you want to do? Pretty shit. Uh, we should talk to MCU and the prosecuting office, right? And just get one of them on it. But do we really want to contest it? <laughs> That's the Ooh, thing. Because we, we were going to punish them anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We were gonna, so. We were going to fire her. But how can we make a deal if she's not present? Like, if we set her out of court, then she has well, to pay civil, 50%. Right? It's civil, but does she even. Oh, want you see that shit? Ooh. Yeah. God damn it, Jimbo. Yeah, I don't know. What? I don't know whether she does. I don't know whether she does. Has anyone spoken to her? We're, we're denying the uh, them be a cop thing. Oh, yeah. I, I figured as much. <clears throat> I don't know why. they. Why do they want to be cops so much? Why do criminals want to be cops? <clears throat> um... It's different. If she's not going to be present, we can't really, like do a plea deal of how much no. she gets personally. We could do the budget, but then she's kind of getting like unpunished civilly. We're getting more punished. Yeah, yeah. It's a real crappy like, situation. Like, like, like Randall like wants you guys are talking about something over my Yeah, we are. Uh, Randall wants a hundred. Sorry, Rand Randall wants a hundred thousand. Eugene wants a million. We yeah. could pay two fifty each. So then it's half of what was proposed. Or technically three hundred thousand each, because they they proposed one point one million worth of fines, and then that would have to come out of the budget. Which I mean, the BCSO budget has six million in it, and we don't really have much expenses at the moment, so we'd cover it. But yeah, we it's can still a very it. big thing because if she was here, she would be covering half of it, and three hundred thousand compared to six hundred thousand. We can send her an hard. invoice. Yeah, we could. Yeah, and if she doesn't pay, it, we can just one. fire her. We're gonna fire her anyway. And we are. Oh, then she's definitely yeah, not gonna sure. pay it. She executed unarmed man. Yeah, Two but if we sent her an invoice afterwards, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't send you any money if you fired me. Well, I might, but yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so it had to, it'd have to be state ordered. <clears throat> but then she could try and sue us for making a deal when she wasn't present. When you know she's the defendant, I don't know. This is messy. Yeah. Do we just let the case go well, it's, ahead it's, and it's see a, what well, happens? It's on, the or... DO, it's on the DOJ for they're the ones that are doing the court case ahead without her. Well, yeah, yeah, but then if it doesn't go, it's a pretty serious case, and then it might fall back. Yeah, I don't blame it needs them. To happen. It yeah. needs to happen. I agree. The victim's but closure. Then what's our options? If we let the, you know, if the case is going ahead, 
then what do we do in court? Do we just sit there? Help. And just be like, no contest. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't feel comfortable like defending the PD for that. Yeah. Unless we just throw her under the bus and be like, you know, oh, she acted. Massively, yeah. She acted on her own accord. She acted against standing up right. Yeah. yeah. Out of line. Yeah. We could do that. That'd be pretty spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so... That'd be really bad. That would definitely burn <laughs> the bridges because Blue wanted to fire with. She could be rehired within a month. Yeah. I don't know. With no like barriers. Hmm. Has have they scheduled the case yet? Uh, I don't believe so. And then there's also like the weed shit. Uh, we already talked about that the other day. Okay. Um. Uh, what do you think? What What do you think we should do? <laughs> You want to throw this to definitely reach out to the the state prosecutors and see what they think because they're the legal smart people. But that's true. They'll probably agree with us that they could go there and just represent it as like a no contest, and then we could suggest a plea deal for a civil case, and it just being like a flat middle ground. Because there's no way we're giving that guy a million dollars. No. And mm -hmm. Eugene will want more because we're not going to give him the cop thing. Or. Randall will want more. Yeah, I think I just want to know the legalities of us making a plea deal without the defendant present. Yeah, we might like, have to do the court case. Then just be like, yeah. Massive okay, throw under the bus. I'll reach out to... Uh, who's head of the state attorney? Odessa. Okay, I'll reach out to Odessa and see if I can get a bit of uh, information there and see what best course of action for us is and then... I'll let, uh, I'll let you all in high command now. <clears throat> let me see if she's all right. I'll, I'll call her after we've fin finished. Okay. All right. Um, I saw that thing with uh, Maple. Was it Maple, the ranger? Did that gets sold Yeah, in there? we were... I was going to give him another 24-hour suspension, but we had three units of duty yesterday. And yeah. he had done his 24-hour suspension already. So then we just elected to look at the bigger picture and have him get unsuspended, come on duty. And the additional punishments were he was not allowed to go on patrol until Casman gave him Class 1 re-firearm training. And then he's also now suspended from my M4 cert until he gets an instructor to do Class 2 training again. Mm. Okay. So what was the issue again? You just we called it they were shooting for the car when they weren't. So he we're in a situation, it's Hydra, we're HP2 operation, wanted suspect, five times attempted murder, and it's likely it could escalate even more. One suspect ground on foot, had a gun on a rooftop, so everybody was very like, you know, on the edge. He's following this car, he's primary, and he hears something, it's a car crash or a tire popping or something sharp on the wind. I don't know. He calls shots fired. They're shooting from their vehicle. Ah. Uh. So then Snow is like, you're confirming shots fired from the vehicle. And then he was like, affirm. And then Snow said, okay, open fire from your vehicle, which we did, which then resulted into a massive shootout for like 25 something minutes with five officers going down and four suspects going down. Yeah. Okay. It sounds like it was handled there. I want to make a strike guide. I hate that Sweets had a situation with Maple where Maple shot somebody, which was a really like terrible shoot, and he gave him 10 strikes. And then we did it and it was 20. I hate that someone could get like bad use chain of command and then someone gives them one strike point and then someone else will give them five. Like, yeah. It's just so annoying. Yeah. I, I mean, talked about strike guides before and then they're like, oh, but then there's like no wiggle room. That could still be wiggle room. Just for unstandard things, strike guide is an SOP, so it'll just be like standard situations. Processing violation, you don't run a gun. 10. Processing violation, because you maliciously give your friend less time in prison, that's 15. You know, bad shoot, because you gave the, like, the wrong call for deadly force, 20. You know, mishandling of evidence, maybe it's 10. Yeah, just I think it's a good idea, easy, actually. Like, consistent list, 
The Department of Corrections have it. The EMS have it. We're the only government faction that don't. Let's do it. And I want it to be available to every single officer. So they know what's coming, yeah. Yeah, they need to know what they could do. When I joined the DOC, I got my SOPs, I got the roster, I got the strike guide, and I looked over everything that I could fuck up. And seeing some things that were just fireable on the spot was like, oh shit. Which would be like shooting another cop. Like Raven? We have a, you know, like Thunder. <clears throat> he needs to get fired. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I, funny enough, I had Daisy calling me today asking him why, why, what's happened to Raven since he shot cops at the Halloween thing. <clears throat> yeah, I got no idea. That seemed like Owen's thing. <laughs> I think it was it was past the it was past the troopers, so I don't I don't know what's happened. By the looks of his his staff, brother, than nothing, but you know, it might have been like an internal. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, oh, might be gone. Maybe, maybe. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I think we should do that. Uh, do, do you want to work on that? I'm happy to uh, help out if you we need. both should. Yeah. I'm going to send you the DOC one for reference for what it should look like. Okay. Yeah, we can just add this to the SOPs, and we can also have it as a separate document if we want, just so it's easy to find. <laughs> now, listen, Sabu. I, I do have an opinion, but I... I I want to know your opinion on it because I know you're a bit Sorry. of a culprit. I have a bit of a pet peeve with it's not necessarily for the stupid stuff, but when people get striked between one and four strike points or anything that isn't a number of five for something that is normally like, I don't mind it for, I know you do it sometimes for like this person disrespected me or something. But when it's like an actual SOP violation and people are getting 14 strike points or something like that, I'm not a fan. Thoughts? Wait, when are people getting 14? I did, this, this is an example. I haven't seen it very often, but I've, it's, it's come up in the past where someone has been striked a non-five amount for a, you know, like a normal violation, not a silly violation. Do we want to add that in that that shouldn't be happening like to the strike? Seven. Yeah, I don't know whether it was too. This thing, I can't actually remember what it was, but I, I've seen it. I think at least two times, and I, I didn't check, and I should have checked whether it was to like avoid a suspension or something. I don't think that should be happening. I fucking hate that. If you're ever yeah. striking less to avoid giving them a suspension, you should not be recommending strike points because you should not be in that rank. Yeah, I think we should add that on. Add that on to the strike thingy. <clears throat> you finding the DLC one? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, they got more SOPs than we do. It's like a whole maze. Shit's at 40 pages. When I was DLC, there was three pages. Oh my god. Does one of them say, don't use the torch room that we had made there? <laughs> no, I think they keep that one off the books. Yeah. Is that still up there? Does anyone actually look into that? It might be. Uh-oh. I found the old DOC roster. It's so old that it's taking Gurgle ages to load it. Yeah. So, have you heard about uh, this thing about uh, SGSO, like, hitting an EMS with a nightstick and then, like, drowning him or something? Yeah. They were trying to help them out because there was no EMS and they were trying to perform medical. They fucked up. <laughs> now they're getting repercussions for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, look, that's the blind ranger with his cane. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I saw it said SBS seed in the. Oh, wait, wasn't Dante Star the the psycho we pulled over that was like pretending to be possessed by a demon? I wonder if we actually ever got to see a psychiatrist. That was an interesting. That was an interesting scene. I think I remember it. No, it wasn't even Halloween yet. Only 45 minutes, chat. Till Minecraft time. Jesus Christ. Oh, I thought you were like a Zoomer. I thought you were good at this stuff. Yeah, they had it on the roster, and then I guess they deleted it. I reached out to the warden, and I was like, hey, where is it? He's like, it's on the roster. And I'm like, you sure about that? And he said, never mind. Let me check. Oh, dear. Okay. So I think somebody accidentally deleted their strike guide. It's fine. That's a strikeable <laughs> offense. It's, that is a strikeable well, offense. Well, that's yeah. guide. Don't delete the strike guide. Don't delete the strike guide. Yeah. Going to cover all our bases. Oh, we strike. can get it done. There's no rush. But yeah, I agree, because this is pretty pretty important. So uh yeah. Okay. Um this is nice. This is rhino. Is this a HVT yeah, rhino or is it like a oh, yeah. oh it is the anvil. Ooh. I like that. That's just fun. All right. Well, thanks for following me in, Shabble. I wish I had information for you, but I, I really don't. The only thing there was was... Uh, no, actually, I've sent everything in email, so... That was yeah. nothing else you wanted to say? I don't think so. Um, Nothing. What are you implying? You, you think there's something I should be telling you that I'm not? Yep, yeah, maybe. I have the guide. I stole enough. I just wanted to stall. Oh. Okay. All right. Give me like 10 seconds. I'll email it over. I'm going to leak it. I'm going to leak it. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. Dispatch. Oh, yeah. I saw the hoppers the head now. What the fuck's going on with that dispatch man? I don't I don't know because no one you informed to, you me that. We as high command who are currently commissioners need to have like direct oversight because we can actually see what's going on I don't have access to no dispatch shit. I'm not able if I needed to talk to like a dispatch FTO I wouldn't be able to see anything. There's nothing. Are you not in the I think, dispatch like, discord? No I know that you are and I think you might be the only one from high command I'll, uh, I'll be in test. I can get you guys in there. Don't worry. Well, maybe not. I can. But high command, we need to be able to like keep in touch with them if we have issues. And also, um, I think something that I think you'd love to do is an idea I had the other day, is that unifying the how do I how do we word it? Unifying the police department staff roles, like admin assistants, dispatch, PD tow, and uh, what was it the RRU? actually oh, have yeah. like one umbrella because for example how often do you just see a chase for two hours or nobody gets a car impounded for three hours you just have pedito diddling their thumbs outside the the uh station not being able to do anything if we for example hmm. bring in pedito into like admin assistance role or at least like front desk so they could take civilian reports that would help with a massive like uh like, like a choke point is essentially where we're at just so a good shout, yeah. Duty and, you know, we're all preoccupied, and then we'll see 911s or someone at MRPD needing to give a statement. It's just collecting a statement. It, it's just a civilian report. If they had MDW access just to do civilian reports, where they just, hey, what happened, and they just write down what was given. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's a good idea. I mean, like, I don't think it should, you know, it should be separate from dispatch, but I think, like, the, the yeah. I guess, the administrative roles... Or like under the... dispatch, like I want to empower dispatch to be a stronger department as kind of like the UPD like staff department. So does that mean we'll have to like essentially dissolve the PD tow uh, chain of command, as it were? 
Mm, given the fact that the leader of the PD Toe Chain of Command has worked inside of Dispatch for a long time, I don't think Dissolve more just like engulf. Wait, Louise? Yeah, like Louise would still be that lead, but just giving her more power and responsibility and bringing her more like into the team. Speedy Toe is kind of just like thrown to the side. It is kind of thrown to the side, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, let me. I was going to have a meeting with. Who made it? How did Harper get the head of dispatch? I'm not complaining, but when I have that... no idea. Uh, I believe Sweets was trying to find a shift two lead, and then uh, good jump. Yeah, I don't know. I just, just saw it. To get a shift Israel, two lead, yeah. and then I think someone denied it, and then offered it to Harper, and then they just gave Harper a full lead, which is good. Regardless, like if it was Harper, just finally someone is a lead. We, yeah, we need a lead. Yeah, I don't I even think Harper like knew she was going to be the lead. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just got a request for some keys yesterday, and I saw Harper was lead. So, yeah, I'll uh, I'll have a chat with Harper and see what she thinks. Uh, I I think, yeah, I think probably alleviating dispatch of a little bit of the more administrative stuff is a good idea too, so I can focus more on on comms and stuff like that. That's a good idea. So. And then giving people more things to do when there's not a lot to do or is, a, is a good chat too. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have a chat to Harper about it. And then I'll get you guys in there too. So that uh, if you need anything from, you can reach out. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Um, any problems with Dispatch lately? Uh, I think it's more like personal people inside of Dispatch. But as a wide... Ooh, oh. there was a huge thing where someone got suspended. You hear about that shit? That shit, it was messy. No. A dispatcher was getting ignored, and then uh, 311, like a massive paragraph about PD ignoring and not utilizing dispatch and treating dispatch like shit, and then went 42. And then I Ooh. think there was a back and forth. And then the dispatcher Ooh. got a 24 hour suspension. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. sound good. Though. Apparently, it was really ugly. Yeah, this is nearly as bad as the yeah. uh, yeah. can't strike me stuff. Dispatch hike, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Okay. Well, as long as it's only individual stuff, that's fine. Uh, I know Flop, I actually ignored his email by accident. I just remembered. But I know he got... Well, uh, he ignored mine, so... Yeah, well, he's a bastard. I'll, I'll grant him... But basically, I think they had a discussion and, and Dispatch puts uh, a character before their call sign now, so they're at the top of the list. Yeah, they do that. It's good. Yeah, just so that they're visible. I mean, it's a bit of a... It's, it's, it's not the best workaround. I wish it was just fixed and we just had letters at the top, but you know, we don't need to reach out to anybody for that stuff, I don't think. Well, we, we could, but we wouldn't get a response. <laughs> That's basically what I was trying to say, but in a nice way. <laughs> I'm done being nice. They haven't given me a projector. They still haven't given you a projector? That's awful. It's been eight months since I requested it. And I think I've probably requested it like 30 times. Oh, no. That's bad. Do you I think they've got something against you? Uh, yeah, I think you're on a list, Stubble. I don't care. What about if I request a projector and then we move it? That'd be good. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. You know, it was one of the last things Toretti he did. He, he had somebody in the building, sized up the proportions for the projector, and then they were like, too hard. What? Yeah. Oh, Stubborn, I'm so sorry, mate. That must be awful. It's <clears throat> devastating. <sighs> it really is. What about one of those ones that you can get that like attached to your phone, like a mobile one? I don't trust plugging that in my phone. Okay. What if it has malware? I mean, fair enough. Yeah, I, I guess. Oh my god, use of illegal substances like marijuana to alcohol while on duty is 15 strikes. As it should be, yeah. Uh, it's, I think it should be 20. Yeah, they, you know, should I also think it should come be with a one-day suspension automatically. Like, if we find someone that is, like, on alcohol, drugs, on duty... It's it's just automatically twenty four, but then that would be thirty strikes. Yep, we would do that. We used to have one of these in our SOPs. I remember it. We used to have one of these, but it was it wasn't yeah, as well, detailed as this. 
Yeah. The only we thing need... we have right now is an announcement, I think, from Jenny from a year and a half ago saying, SOP violation 5, processing 10, malicious processing 15. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, we'll you do see it. how they have a 30 strike point for if they act like PD. Peak for it. Look at that. That's because of Bobby Balderman. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh dear. So if what should we have the same to show them respect? If we act like DOC, should we give thirty strike points? How many did we strike Terps? Because uh, he did that. Uh, I think we should have the same. A fun little Easter egg. It's not going to be on there. It was seven months ago. You'd have to scroll oh. the action logs. Oh yeah, that's too much. Wait, Mister Tips is a trooper. He's a ranger. Oh. Since when? Since oh, he's stole all of yours. He was in that batch that, you know, when they broke into your house <laughs> and they stole like six LSPD. Yeah. Took, uh, it was two SDSO and two PBSO. Well, he's already got 20 strike points in the last 12 days as a ranger, so. Did I do any of those? Might have. No, it was a need to run flop. <clears throat> You managed to That's not it. good. Where are you going to put the strike thing? In the SOPs or on somewhere else? Uh, I think the there should be a separate document that is linked in the important documents, but then also maybe on the roster spreadsheet. Oh thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good chat. Okay. Um, if you haven't started it by the time I get around to it, which won't be today, probably, it probably be tomorrow morning, then I will start it and I'll let you know where it is. We just link it in the, one of the high command chats. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. The others can throw some things in too. Okay. Uh, and I will schedule a meeting with Harper. I bet. That stuff. Awesome. All right. I think that's it. You're free to go that, when the lights are off. Oh, thanks, Stubble. I appreciate it. That's that I'm not getting a ticket today. Uh, that'll be bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you two doing? <laughs> I'm teaching we're, him. I'm, yeah, he's we're, learning. We're, I'm learning. He's learning. Learning how to breathe? What, what do you mean? Those are no. still bulletproof, right? I, I, are they? I, I don't know about all that, but... Don't look at me. I'm, I'm not testing it. He, um... I would. Oh. I give well, you permission to test it. Oh, hold on. I have a vest on. Oh my god. I didn't feel, I didn't feel a thing. That's crazy. We should take these the next time we want to breach. No, no, <laughs> yeah. definitely don't. I bring the oh, cones yeah, no, too, no, no, no. right, Stabu? Bring the cones. Excuse me, excuse me. My leg. Only thirty minutes till wipe. T minus thirty minutes. Been a nice chill day today. I've enjoyed it. Then we get to play Minecraft all night. Oh, dude, the dream. The dream. I don't want to rush anything. So hungry today. Yeah. That happens. You know what you should do? Eat. It's probably a good idea. Don't do it here, though. Don't call the vote okay. here. Okay, you understand? What if I did? Do it, Cameron. Get a strike point. Do, get do a strike it. Point. Is that an order? Oh. That's an order, Cam. Do it. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm doing it. I'm calling it. I can't. Oh, they Why not? Deliver it. They won't deliver it to you. I, I don't think they're delivering it. And over we've here. learned a lesson that you can only call for a boat in the water. In the water. Oh, yeah. The water. It won't bring it to you All on the right. tow truck. If he's in DOC hold, he's going to go to the Is there a chance he might get released and still have the warrant? 
Oh wait, Paddy called us earlier. We should have called him back. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Uh, let me go and do... <gasps> I think Occam's is going to play Minecraft. Uh, spoilers. I just saw him join the server. Um, I'm going to go get a drink and I'll be back in a sec.
I'm back in. Oh, it's so cold, dude. I like it. Can we go get a drink? 25 minutes, T minus. EB, when I was messing with my settings last night for the game, there were, I found something. I don't want to. Listen, I don't want to spoil. I, I'll spoil a little thing. It's not a big thing, I don't think. But. You've just reminded me because it's very you. But you know how they have like pre-generated structures and shit in the world? <clears throat> well, I found one on my test world. And it was just a graveyard. But it was like, it was a really good graveyard. And there was like, there was like a full-on skeleton like leaning up against a wall. It was pretty cool. <clears throat> but they have like, okay... And it's another spoiler. There's there's actual like coffins. Like coffins are like an item that when you open it, like the lid slides off. It's pretty cool. And it's like a chest. It's like a double chest. It does sound perfect for Eevee, yeah. The vampire arc. Listen. We're gonna listen, I'm gonna do my best to avoid the magic stuff this time around, okay? I am going to do my best. Will it last? Maybe not. But also, steampunk can mix with a bit of magic, right? Uh, you're going to make a UFO? Hell yeah. Space exploration? I think there's going to be a space race. I'll be honest. I think there is going to be a space race. I don't think it should be a race, though. Hello, mate. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Yeah, come on through. So what you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling hungry, so I'd like two big ass sandwiches with some sure. salt. Uh, can I get tuna mayo with some sweet corn? And then I'd like some mm -hmm. salt and vinegar chips. I'll say chips because that's probably the normal thing here. And can you put those inside the sandwich, please? And I need lots of, mm -hmm. you know what, I'll, I'll buy some energy drinks. Yeah, for sure. Um, I can get that sorted for you. A uh, great thing is, uh, you can get a couple of combos, um, sort of covered by a budget while you're uh, on duty. So... That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, oh, I need to drink for All hours. All I need from you, mate, is a uh, call sign. Four zero zero four hundred. Now. Hey, Aki. Good to see you. reader all right that's sort of let me get it put together for you thank you so much you've been busy today yeah not really not massively but you know will sell soul for 500k it's not the end of the world am i surprised now quiet days not always a bad thing nah it's not it's been quite quiet a day for us too. So it's quite nice every now and then, you know. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. though, it's too much, and then the day goes by too slow. You gotta keep busy. Yeah, I get that. Let me just dig through for some salt and vinegar. Chippies in here. What I might do, mate, is I might give you the packet of chips and then you can sort of sprinkle them over the, the sandwiches you please. No, I'll do that you then. Yeah, that's good that you're idea. getting it your, your way, you know? Exactly. Thank you so much. All right. Everything should be there on the tray for you, mate. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries at all. No worries at all. Stay <laughs> safe. Have a good one. You too. This bad for 110 8 any actives uh we're chasing McGregor but we lost him 
You're in like there's a white polo. There's also a sack in the motor pool. Good area. A what? A PD sack. I'm a snitch. Oh my god. Like a bull sack? No, not the one for the mouth or the for the like in the pants. It's like a PD sack, not sack. Cuddle puddle. Cuddle puddle, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Fuck. No, I won't. And we'll chill for 20 minutes and then we're fucking gone. We're fucking gone, mate. We're dipping. I want people to make shops in town. Like, I wish town was just like people's shops and shit and then they had their bases elsewhere. In Minecraft. I don't know why I'm... My brain's a bit fuzzled today, I'll be honest. Because I've been oversleeping. Because I wake up. And it's like minus 20 degrees in the bedroom and I don't want to leave bed and then I fall back to sleep. Early access to Onyx? If you're asking me if I've got early access, no. -uh. No, no, no. We're going to ban nukes from the middle of town. They, they have to become illegal. They has to be illegal. Minus 20. Listen. Who am I? I'm I'm sock. I'm dramatic, okay? It's probably not actually minus 20. But it's fucking freezing. I just can't get out of bed. And then fucking Beans is like passed out on top of the duvet, which is fucking annoying uh, in and of itself. Because I then... But then it means I can't move because I'll wake him up. Ugh, it's just such a pain. I just have to go back to sleep. But he's so... He's such a... He's honestly... The, the other night, I forgot to... Because uh, we've got like a... Um, I don't know what you call them. Like a storage heater kind of thing. You know, like a plug-in radiator type deal. And I forgot to go and turn it on. Or I, no, I turned it on in the bedroom like a few hours before we went to bed. But I, I put it on wrong. Uh, so it didn't actually turn on. So it was actually freezing in the room when we went in. <laughs> and Beans, he's actually so pampered that he came up and he was crying. It was that... <laughs> he was too cold. So he was crying. But like a proper cry. He was like under the duvet. And he was just whining because he was too cold. It's such a... Honestly. He's such a pampered dog. He literally spends all day in front of a fucking fire. He goes out for a walk in the freezing cold. Comes back. Lies down in front of the fire and sleeps all day. Then get sad when he can't sleep in the warm anymore. A four hundred seventy six ten ten care I am. So everybody on radio is aware we are probably gonna try and arrest you, Cafe, where he's gonna try and perform felony animal cruelty. Who's with McGregor, Reed, and Damian right now? He does have a warrant for his arrest as well. Four hundred twenty-three code six KLAM.
And less force, yeah, pretty much. Why does that car get its trunk open? Sure nobody's being kidnapped over here. If they're not going here, guys. Got it. Yeah, we're good. I'm quite just shirking. Have a good day. Here. And they get that guy flipping those people off? What the fuck? You just kicked those people's cars. It's fucking this guy who arrested us earlier. Oh, I see. So B Tech boys back again. Uh, you, you are a. You are yeah. Enjoy your ATMs, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that guy kicking the car? those unaware a b-tech is a qualification in the united kingdom which is i don't know i don't actually know how to describe it it's often described as um less less challenging i think is the right way to say that screw you bitch don't fucking tell me what to do Shut up, huh? Shut. Shut. Stop it now. She called me a bitch. She rammed my fucking vehicle and she thinks she can get away. Oh no, this is that. This is him. What's up, huh? I'm not getting out of your way. Is that you, Mr. Star? Oh, how? Hi. How, how do you know me? Oh, uh, I think we met a while ago. Listen, um, you, you have a pleasant day. Okay? You have a pleasant day. Yeah. You too. Um, you remember that guy we were talking about that was possessed by a devil or a demon? That's him. What's your 20? Very good. First half of what you said cut out, so he'll probably have to clarify who you are. Mario, is that you? Hey, what's your 20? Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, good to see you. Okay. Uh, good to see you too, man. How you been? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, yeah, I had food that was going Yeah, you probably shouldn't wear a mask in public, you know that, right? Oh, I can take it out. I don't mind. Okay. I'm just, no, I'm just letting you know, because, you, you know, if you, you've probably got a gun on you, so, you know, you don't want to get that. I'm a clean person. Listen, I'm a, you can't search my name. I'm a clean open. person. Are you really? Not, yeah. I mean, yes, I am. Just search my name, bro. Go ahead and set the link. Fernando. Oh. Yeah. Fernando Reyes. That's what I'm Oh my farming. god, congratulations. Uh, I've been clean for six months now. Holy shit. Good job, man. I'm proud of you. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, listen, I'll, I'll leave you to it. But uh, you take care, Sam, man. It's good to see you, Pat. I thought I was interrupting something, so I got out of there pretty quick. VTEC's are work-related qualifications. Uh, yes. Has had a box, black and color buffalo, occupied multiple times. Wait, you just trying to kill Mario's dog? What the fuck? This is the Minecraft waiting room, how did you know? <laughs> 10 minutes, T minus. I said this earlier, does, does Kyle actually know his server's wiping today? I don't think he's aware.
He is now. Well, unless he's watching, I don't think he's aware. It's all about. Who this? Uh, Tommy England. Uh, go back to Mission Row. I suppose I can get ready. It's supposed to be in 10 minutes. Oh, he didn't know until somebody mentioned it. <laughs> nice. There was no ping. Oh, you're right. Maybe I'll go ping everybody. Why hasn't there been a ping? I just thought about that. We should ping everybody. It's only people who are actively in the Discord that I guess know about it. Whoop. I'll go into Mission, B Mission Realm and we'll ping everybody. Do I care about giving everybody a red dot? No. Okay, there's an active with Eugene sniping a dog. As much as I would love to chase that old fuck. I'm leaving. Flippy snitching? Fog? Uh, turned a new leaf? Just having to do a cafe. Eugene just shot, sh just shot someone's dog. Run towards the gas station. New leaf, new yeah. tree, new forest. Uh, that meme was so funny, this. When XGC was the on the server. Ugh. We're ready to go. Yeah, the dog can die this one time. Though I will say, since getting a dog of my own, there are no scenes that make me upset in a movie more than, or anything, than when a dog is involved, I'll be honest. I don't even care. If it's like a happy scene, there's nothing. Time to mine. 417 to you, please. 417-23. Right, um, Eugene is in, is in the car, McGregor just got in. And they're trying to play. T minus eight minutes. No, longer than that. I don't know. No, eight minutes was right. Okay. Uh, right. Let's try and not crash the game here. We'll see. Do do do. I asked Spencer for a ping. Spencer will be kissing his real life dog while at the same time murdering groups of dogs and not be. Yeah, Ben is a different breed, okay? <laughs> no, but to be fair, I would. If, if chat pissed me off, I would drive around the city and run over every animal I could, and it wouldn't affect me one bit. <laughs> 